Hello everyone. So allow me to explain something that has been going on in some of my shops on the eBay. So I have one shop is the ultimate modeling collection and I have been having some issues regarding the basket features on the eBay, meaning that my customers are not able to put a bunch of items in one single basket. So because of this, they will have to pay every item shipping and not the shipping in one of all, right? So because of this, because of this issue, this means that if you buy, for example, one item, you will have to, to buy to pay the shipping. If you buy two items, you have to buy to pay two shippings because I don't see the feature. So you do not have this ability to have the basket features on the eBay.com, which is the international one. You don't, you cannot do this in the UK one, which ends in eBayCO.uc and in the Ireland. So let's pretend that I'm going to buy this article that I'm showing you now. Let me look for it. I'm looking for it in the .com. Okay, we're going to select the article and you can see I do not have the Etsy basket. If we go to the .co.uk, which is the UK one, I'm going to select again the same. You will see that everything that is below one pound, you will not see it. This is a policy they have regarding the, the, the amounts of the items, meaning that everything that is less than one pound, it will not be visible for you. So if you're using only this one, you're not seeing anything of this. So if we go now selecting another one, we're going to select this one which is a little bit more expensive. You see, I do not have the basket feature either. Now we're gonna get to the .com. And as you can see, you do not see any basket, still no issues. In the Ireland, it's, it happens exactly the same. If you go to the .fr, which is a French eBay, we you can also access this one you can access all of them if you want but if we get access the fr we're gonna we're gonna make a search you can see it let's select it let's pretend we're gonna buy it and then you can see to add to the to the to the to the to the card it means ajouter au panier it means add the basket so you can do this in the in the fr and, and this is where you start to adding your articles in the basket. Now you can go back to my shop, select another one. Let's select this one. Let's add it again. You see, you can see now that you're starting to have a shopping list and you can see that you have one shipping cost per sticker that you are selecting. This mean this is how eBay is working. For every item, you're gonna get the the shipping costs per item that you're selecting. What you have to do when you have this, you will have to send a demande to tell vendor. It means that it's you have to ask your vendor, which is me, to send you the total. What I will do from my side, I will calculate how much is the shipping for all the items you'll have. In this case, I will ask you only the shipping for one because it's, it's stickers. Then in English, we can access the Australian one, right? Let's not select this one because we already used it in the previous example. So let's select something different. Let's select it. Okay, I'm selecting this one, but I'm not going to buy this one. We need to select another one. So let, allow me to select this one. You see, add to cart. And you see, you have the cart feature in the Australia one. So let's select another one. Okay, let's select this one. Add again. And you will see the same thing. You will see. Let's just, just select the three so you can see that the three, it will happen the same thing. And you see it happens the same, one euro for each sticker. Again, 
You have to do the same. You do the same request total from seller, and then you will then I will send you again the recalculation for the three stickers in one, which will mean one euro. The last solution that we have it's the Canadian one, so it's this dot c a we do not you can you can choose both language english or french i I will obviously use English because I'm not a very good French speaker. You have again, you have again the chart. Again, you cannot, I will not use this one. I will have to use another one. So this one, I think it's just head to cart. So you see, you can do it. You have it already flagged as one item. Let me show you another one so we can have a shopping list. Okay. Uh, this one, Sweden. Okay. It's okay. To add. Again, you see, you see multiple shipping costs. Let's put another one just for you to, guys to see. This will work. This will always. Um, and another one. Okay. In this case, we can use the, the, the basket. Let me put just one last one so you guys see that if you don't use the basket, you will have to pay every single shipping cost for each. All of them have the standard shipping costs, which is one euro. So it would mean that you will you will have to spend seven euros in this case for the for all of them. You request a total for me from seller, and then I will recalculate the shipping costs considering your request. And in this case, it will be only one euro for the five of them, right? You will get this information via email, right? With all the total amount. Yes, the total, the total amount of stickers plus the shipping cost, which will be one euro, and that would be it. And then once this is done, once you have, you can proceed to checkout, which means to pay using the PayPal and <laughs> just for your information if you look to this into the store in the UK you will see that you will not see any any items below one pound this is a rule from the .co.uk this is how they work so if you go to the Canadian, you will see that I have more stickers than the ones. I have 3,080 and here I will have 500. So, you know, I think it's important for you guys to know because you're buying stuff, probably you're missing out great opportunities simply because you're just using the .co.uk. So I recommend you to use the dot dot um, dot au, uh, the Australian, the French, or the Canadian, because because for you there are buyers. It will give you a much broader opportunity of articles. And if you go into the in the dot com, you will just see what and the dot co dot uk. You only see things that are more uh, ex, more than one one pound. We have been having a lot of issues with the eBay practice because of the shipping, meaning that whenever someone buys me stickers, I really have to refund them because they have to pay the double almost 
in terms of shipping. And this is not fair at all. So what, what I do, I refund. Whenever I refund a customer, it means for eBay that I don't have the article. So I'm cheating the customer, which is not true. What I'm actually doing, I'm being quite fair to, to the customer. So if you guys are buying one by one, I have no other alternative but to sell you one by one and charge the the, the shipping. So what happened to me, because I refunded a lot, because people didn't really understand that you know the shipping were very unfair for them, I refunded and then eBay blocked my account because they thought that I was providing a bad service to the customers and therefore putting eBay on a bad name, which is not a, which is not accurate and it's not it's not something that I usually do. So for every for every article you guys go and buy, please make sure that your access has the the basket feature and use it. Okay? So have great shops and enjoy.